What's up everybody? This is John with Texas ATS Customs and with another little quick video this time covering how to manually add modded trucks or SCS trucks to ETS2 Studios. Uh, this video will be about ETS2 Studios. I cannot give instructions on ATS Studios because I don't fool I don't fool with ATS Studios, so I don't know anything about that. Although I assume it's probably the same. So with that being said, this is going to be from the ETS2 Studio perspective. This works the same way as a instruction manual, a paperback instruction manual, meaning that as the video goes along, you will be shown my settings. Pause the video, write them down, take a screenshot with your phone, do whatever you need to do to see where my settings are at. If you follow along, do what I say, look at my settings, then nothing should fail for you. If it works for me, then there should really be no reason why I should fail for you if you follow along. Now, with that being said, let's get this started. First off, you're going to have to download ETS2 Studio. I will provide a link to the file that I have. I have seen the website and I've read in the comments people are talking about viruses and things like that. So, even though I will still provide a link to the website, I will also provide a direct download link to the actual file that I have for the version that I use. So that you can just install it directly without having to download it if you so choose. Alright, first thing you're going to do is bring up your ETS2 Studio. Alright, when you got your ETS2 Studio up, to add a truck manually, you're going to go up here to the left. See the little gold gear looking icon? Click it. Go to Options, which is down here in the bottom right next to Exit. Now, the next thing that pops up should be this screen. Go to Truck Database. Go up here to Add Truck. This is where you're manually going to have to input the information. If double clicking the actual zip file does not automatically put the truck into the database, then this is what is meant by manually adding it. Okay, sorry I had a text message. Anyway, so here's what you're going to do to manually add it. Get your truck file and for this let me close this out because it's not going to let me move this out the way. Okay. For this purpose, I grabbed the Outlaw uh, truck just as an example to show you how to manually add it. Whether or not you can double click this, I don't remember, but this still works the same way with all modded trucks. This is how you manually add them. So we're going to go, we got our file right here, right there. Now we're going to go back to where I just said the Gold Gear Options truck database add a truck same screen I damn near covered up the mod again okay now that you're at this screen the first thing you want to look for is the truck name or right, I'm take that back I'm sorry not truck name you want the truck internal name let me slow this down truck internal name truck name doesn't matter it can be whatever in the hell you want to name it that does not make a difference the truck internal name is what makes a difference. So, we're going to open up the outlaw file for the outlaw truck. Remember, this works for any modded truck that, and I do believe for the most part, even lock files, you can still, you don't need to open the actual file, you just need to see them. But that's not what this video is about. As soon as you open up the truck file, you'll see all these files. Okay, you're looking for the DEF, definition folder double click it. Next thing to come up sh there should be a vehicle file folder. Click it. Now this is where you should be seeing something similar to this. They're all going to be different but they are somewhat similar. You're looking for a truck. The basic truck folder. Get into it. There. The next thing that pops up. This is the actual internal file name. Exactly as you see it no capital letters it's all lowercase letter for letter 
font for font. Everything you see, that needs to be typed in to right here. Truck internal name. We'll move it down here so we can see it. Truck internal name. So what you would type in is Peterbilt dot three seven nine dot v2 that's it you're done with that that's the internal name author you can author the outlaw team or if you want to classify them you can put them all under ATS inside of the ETS2 studio whatever you put the author in it groups them down it groups them put them in groups of by the author so group them as ATS, group them as whoever made it, it's up to you. That doesn't matter. Truck name doesn't matter. Name it whatever you want. Peterbilt Outlaw Custom. Okay. The image, yeah, that's self-explanatory. Just an image of whatever you want to show. Like, for example, you're looking at this one over here. It's a green and white. Um, the hell is that? A K1, I mean, a, a T800 or whatever. Um, that's an image. So, find an image on your computer if you already have one and put it there. Now, we're going to go over here to the internal names for the cab variants. This is your sleepers. And this is how this works. Okay? Go back into where you was at. And you're going to go back into that same where you was at. See where it says Peterbilt, the, the internal name. You should still be there. Double click that to get into that folder the next folder you should see all these things here what you're looking for is cabin right here cabin that's your sleepers double get into it these are the names of the uh, sleepers cab variants day cabs on up to all the sleepers now here's what you can do if it's not locked if it's locked well it's a guessing game but you can still figure it out slide these files onto your desktop or folder just get them out of there so you can open them open them with notepad regular notepad or notepad plus plus is recommended so that you can see it a lot easier so I'm gonna open up this DCFR this shows you what DCFR is DCFR is a day cab right there see it highlighted that's what the DCFR is it's a day cab. So inside the game, in the uh, garage shop menu, it will say day cab. That's what it is. So here's how this internal thing works. The internal name for this is, we can close this out now. We don't need it. We see these are the internal names right here. That was inside the uh, cabin folder. Your internal name will be DCFR just like that do not put the dot SII that's not needed that's just an extension DCFR now over to the right where it says name put what you just saw day cab try to put it exactly as you saw it day cab click anywhere in this white box you go to the next one next one's the same thing DCHR we're gonna drag this one out you can delete your other one that you drug out you can do them one at a time we're going to open it again with Notepad++. Let's see what DCHR. DCHR is the Day Cab Ultra Cab right here. Got it? Okay. You can copy that. Close that file out. Go back up here. DCHR. So you're going to type in DC. I'm sorry. DCHR. Exactly like it is. And you can paste it because we copied it. Day Cab Ultra Cab so on and so forth these are as you can see some of them are self-explanatory this one is the eagle this one is the legacy and when you get into the cabin you will notice like some trucks only have two choices or three choices so there'll only be two or three files in here and if it's not locked you can do the same thing to get in there to find out what they are without having to go in game to find out what they are okay once you did all this you named it whatever you want to name it Put the internal name, author, whatever you want, put a picture, go to save truck template, click it, and it should save with no issues. I've never had any error messages come up if you do it right. 
Now I'm going to close this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to show y'all the uh, SCS trucks that I have in mind to try to help y'all out in this video. We're going to do the SCS W900 first. This is going to be the part of the video where you can actually pause and write this down or take a picture with your phone. I'm going to go into the database for my W9. I'm going to go to edit truck. Take a screenshot right now. Or take a minute, pause the video, and read the way I put this right here. Copy everything you see on my screen. And, uh, well, I take that back. That's the T800. So how the hell did I get on the T800? Oh, I know why. I didn't choose it in here. I'm sorry. Okay, W900 now. Now I'm going to go to here. There. There we are. This is the W900. As you can see, the SCS truck is Kenworth.W900. And I believe all the SCS trucks are, are named the same damn way. Like the T800 or T680 is Kenworth.T680. And Peterbilt's the same way. Peterbilt.389 or Peterbilt.589, if I'm not mistaken. But as you can see, write down uh, duty, exclusive, standard, no caps. Okay, I'm going to close this out. Now I'm going to go to the 579. I'm going to show you all the 579. Yeah. Now pause the video, take a picture of this, copy this exactly as you see it. This is the internal. Uh, this is how you add the uh, SCS 579, the stock truck. To your uh, studio so you can skin it okay I'm gonna close that out uh, Peter Bill we're gonna do the 389 I believe this is the SES one uh, disregard the screen or picture of the damn uh, Freightliner uh, Sentry class I just never went back and changed it but this is the Peter Bill 389 the SCS 389 Okay, I'm going to close it, and the T680 next. Okay, I'm going to close this, and we're going to do the um, Volvo. Yeah, I believe that's the last of the SCS trucks. If there isn't, I'm always willing to uh, share share it later. Somebody ask. Volvo dot VNL. Yeah, I believe that's it. At least I hope that's it. I have so many Volvos in my database. I just, but I believe that's it. Three cab options. Yeah, that's it. Three hundred seven eighty seven thirty. So, all right. So that closed that out. You copy all that information, it'll keep you from having to hunt it down later on. All the modded trucks you can do yourself. I'm not going through all my trucks. The SCS ones are sometimes kind of difficult to hunt down. Because they don't show up in the folder like you think they should. So we'll close that out. And that should do it. That's how you add it manually to the uh, database. If... Uh, find one of these trucks like the CSW9 for example yeah it should be there um so keep in mind that there's like so there's so much stuff to cover so much stuff to go through that it would be this video could go on for hours there's things to look for um 389s and the W900s basically if you want to uh they require the um, don't the don't use alternate UV set. The, think of it like this: the uh, aerodynamic trucks use the alternate UV set. The ones uh, large cars, big hoods, the SES trucks is what I'm referring to. They don't require the use alternate UV. The aerodynamic ones, T685, 79, they do. And uh, really, to tell you that I don't want to go through all these. This is all pretty much self-explanatory. But if you can get to add it to you, to, if you can get it to where you can add these trucks manually to your database, then after this, you can figure this out on your own. It's not that hard to do. 
So hopefully that'll work. Good luck. If it doesn't, let me know and uh, I'll do what I can to try to uh, make it work for you. Good luck. Have a good one.